Dolomite is my name is a return to form for Eddie Murphy. Thank you, God. Yes, finally. After years of just abject trash, Eddie Murphy has finally came out with something worthy of his comedic talents in Dolomite is my name. The film is the biopic of Rudy Ray Moore, kind of focusing on his career right up to the point where he makes the movie Dolomite, and just a little bit after that, up to the premiere of it, once it finally has its premiere. Like I said, Eddie Murphy finally has a return to form in this film. It does have uh, some very good supporting cast in Wesley Snipes. He does a real good job playing the director that Dolomon hires. I can't think of his the character's name at this moment. But he does a good job playing it along with some of the other people that are in the film. Snoop Dogg plays a DJ at the record store that Rudy Ray Moore works at the start of the film. And he won't play any of Rudy's records regardless of what genres they fall in, even though they're all kind of the same. This is a, it's a funny joke to start the film with, and it kind of circles back around later at the end of the film once he does start to see some success. Um, Snoop takes and throws on probably his worst song that he gives him or tries to get him to play at the beginning, and it is just awful. And But it's funny because it is kind of like, ha ha ha, gotcha, man. But like I said, Eddie Murphy does a very good job in this film. What... Um, I really liked about it was how it was very introspective in a lot of ways because as Rudy's starting to see some success with his comedy albums, he kind of asks himself, you know, like, why am I having to work so hard? Is you know, I, how, everything I do kind of is, is just there and it, it, it seems to be failing or I just, I can't get ahead. I take two steps forward and one step back every single time and I just seem to be going nowhere. And it, to me, it kind of read as a reflection of, of Eddie Murphy's career as of late. Anybody... Everyone remembers The Adventures of Pluto Nash and how bad it was, um, $200 million flop, along with some of the recent films, A Thousand Words, uh, Meet Dave, Norbit. Uh, there is just a string of stinkers from Eddie Murphy. It really kind of hurts my feelings, you know, after having watched all those films and having grown up on 48 Hours, another 48 Hours, not as good as the original, but still good. Um, of course, the first couple Beverly Hills Cops and some of his other, you know, just random films that he popped up in were, were really good and, and funny. And Eddie gave a great performance. And I'm, I'm glad to see that he finally was able to make something again that, that's, that's not only just funny, but it also has a bit of dramatic in it, a bit of dramatic acting in it from Eddie. And he does a very good job of it. I would not be surprised to see him nominated for an Oscar this year. And I feel that it is, it is certainly well deserved for him as, you know, his filmography up to this point is, is again, abject trash. But it's a good film. You know, it starts off and it does a good job of blending not actual footage from Dolomite, but reproduction footage from Dolomite as they're filming it. And you can see that it was probably a very fun film when they made it. Everyone seems to be having fun, except Wesley Snipes' character, which that's part of his character. Is he's, he doesn't want to be there at all, but he seems to really enjoy not wanting to be there. And in some of the scenes, he just, oh, I was like, oh, these amateurs. Oh. And, and it's funny because it rings true. Is You have somebody who's actually an actor who then, you know, he wants to direct. And the only way that Eddie Murphy's character can get him to, to help to be in his film or to help him is to say, I'll let you direct it. And Wes is like, okay. But then once he starts to direct it, he's, He's actually, you know, an actor, a professional actor, and he sees Eddie Murphy's character who is, in a way, kind of a dunce who's just fumbling his way through making this feature. But it's fun, and it seems to be, you know, well-intentioned. Uh, he doesn't seem to be making fun of it, and even though you have a little bit of conflict between Wesley Snipes' character and, uh, and Eddie Murphy's character in it, on this dynamic about whether you know he's making something that's serious versus something that's completely trash from what Wesley Snipes perspective is he's like this is crap you know I don't want to watch this I don't want to be involved in it oh, at least I got my name on a director movie but nobody's gonna watch this crap and there is a bit of the film where you do kind of have that after he gets it made he's having trouble getting distribution nobody wants to see it nobody wants to talk about it or anything like that because they don't know who this guy is. You know, in Hollywood, it's, it's what have you done? And, you know, this is Rudy Ray Moore's first feature. So he ends up later on in the film uh, going on with a radio station with Chris Rock, which is kind of a 
kind of a neat part seeing Chris Rock in. I wasn't really expecting it. I, I didn't pay much attention to the trailers, but I, I thought it was like, oh, it was okay. It's Chris Rock. He's kind of shooting the shiznit with him a little bit, and, it, and it's all in good fun. Tells Rudy, hey, man, just go promote that yourself. So Rudy does. He goes out, beats the street, hands out flyers, and ends up getting a full house in this theater that he had rented to premiere his film in. So once it comes out, you know, it's it's a great success at this little showing that he did himself, and then several other people start to have interest in it. And he ends up getting a phone call from a character played by Bob Odenkirk as a studio executive who he prior previously sent the uh, you know the film to for them to review, possibly buy, and he reaches out and he's like, hey Rudy, you know, kind of like this, let's have a talk. So they, they end up talking and decide that it is best for them to take the film and premiere it. So the film ends on kind of a high note, I found, where they're all getting they all get in the car, they're heading off to the premiere, and someone brings up the reviews, and of course the reviews are not very good for the film. They kind of deride it a little bit. But the group just kind of laughs it off. It's like, you know, we had fun making this. It's our film. People in it look like us. They sound like us. And it's representation for us. And that is a good thing. You know, they, because they made it, the, they put their sweat, blood, and tears into it. And who gives a rat's ass what anybody else thinks? It's something we made and something we did. So they go to the premiere. Everyone starts to go in and then, you know, Eddie kind of spins around, looks out the large crowd waiting for the premiere, and then just starts shooting the shit with everybody. He goes around talking to everybody, laughing, joking, and you kind of get this beautiful little circle shot where you see him smiling and he looks happy. And that is, to me, very reflective of Eddie Murphy's career. Because at this point, you know, he was a big star that just kind of fell off the map a little bit and made a bunch of stinkers, and then he's here playing this Rudy Ray Moore character, who this is his first real modicum of success that he's getting, and once he's there, it's like, oh, okay, yeah, it's like, I like it, I, I think I can do it. You know what, I don't need to watch this movie, I'm going to sit out here and talk to you guys. And then that's how the film closes, and it is, it's a good film. It is something I would recommend, and like I said, I do believe Eddie Murphy uh, will at least be nominated for an Oscar for this, and I think he, he well deserves it, it's well deserved by him. Um, other than that, I believe that's all. And uh, if you got some time, head over to Netflix and watch uh, Dolomite Is My Name.